Who doesn't want to have a good cricket? However, if you want a good cricket, hard work alone is not enough. You have to be protected by the dead spirit. The reason is simple: all crickets in the world are changed from dead people. When people live in the world, it's either you revolute me or I steal your wife. But we can still smile, shake hands, and cheer. Once people die, all the grievance poison of a person flows with the soul. At this time, people become crickets. They cannot meet each other as they bite as soon as they meet. Either leave the wings or the thighs. Crickets are the afterlives of people. Between teeth and teeth, none of them forgive. The living people clearly saw this. Lighted the lanterns. They call the dead between graves and graves and put them in a small basin. In this way, the grievances of previous lives become entertainment in current lives. People saw the bite of the dead. People can see clearly what they did after death. Therefore, if you want to get a good cricket, it is not enough to only carry the lantern, and it is not enough to only wander between the tombs. It depends on your relationship with the undead. Your ears must hear the singing of the dead. Based on this, people in a city can't figure out how to play with crickets. They treat crickets as a set of mahjong, use the crickets to bet on a win or lose, and use the crickets to determine the ownership of money, cars, and buildings. They couldn't hear what the singing of the crickets meant. The people in a city played with the crickets. At best, it's just drawing or drawing the tile. The countryside is different. On a hot summer night, take a look at the rural cemetery. Under the dark night sky, clusters of phosphorescent lights flicker in the mass graves. They are blown up by the breeze, shaking from side to side like festival balloons. Only light, only drifting, no heat, no weight. And every group of phosphorescent lights has every group of phosphorescent lights' cricket sound. After midsummer, fall is here. At this time, people in the village would carry lanterns to the mass graves. They found the caves of golden snakes or toads, crawled on the ground, and listened to the loud singing of crickets. From the cry of crickets, they could immediately determine who was the dead butcher Asan, who was the barefoot doctor Flora Dog, who was the village secretary Mortar, and who was the silent pistol of the brigade accountant. As for other people, they will always be small crickets, and their lives will never be different from after death. Speaking of crickets, one has to mention Ardai. Ardai has no dad, no mom, no brother, and no sister. People in the village said that in Ardai's head there was either pig intestine or pig dung. It was a piece when picked up, and it was a pile when poured out. If the pig is stupid one, then he can only be stupid two. In a word, he can't even tell where he is from, and is worse than a pig. However, Ardai has amazing wisdom about crickets. Every fall, Ardai's crickets can not only fight but are also invincible. Ardai is deceived by the people in the village. However, as long as Ardai and crickets are together, and the cricket is decent, Ardai is more decent. If a person's decency is brought on with seasonality, then there's no doubt that he must live only for that season. Once in the fall, Ardai is proud. In fact, Ardai is not dumb and even a little clever, just a tendon, that is, dirty, lazy, quack, froze. While squatting at the corner, he is even more disgusting than broken bricks. He looks like a dog after the beginning of spring, looking for food with the tip of his nose all day long. When summer comes, he becomes a snake again, lays lazily in the crab's grave, and only walks out at dusk. 
he stretches his head, twists, and walks without appearance. Once he encounters a frog, the upper body of the snake will rush out with his mouth and then slowly swallow with its eyes closed. However, as soon as the fall wind passed, Ardai changes quickly. After fall comes, Ardai will no longer be a dog or a snake, but a human like. Ardai at this time will carry his Latin and appear between tombs and tombs when night falls. There are countless dead souls in the mass graves. There are as many crickets as dead souls. Ardai can always find the most outstanding crickets, the heroes among the dead souls. Ardai captures them back and lets the heroes act out their stories when they were alive. Someone once asked Ardai, how can you always catch the most ferocious cricket? Ardai replied, staring at every living person.